Hello, welcome back in the waters. Still haven't got this one. Sing stalk. You were strong friends battered the stalk forest. A good place to find exposed or damaged sing stalks. It's on the other side. Hmm. I tried. And after that, I promise we will go where she wants. Maybe we'll just try to get that blue. Wait, oh, no, wait, no, wait. Doesn't make any sense for to be that resort or not. It's our last one. Well, that doesn't have to be our last one. This doesn't seem to be here. It's strange. It's also strange. And we can't come here. Hmm. That's a strong current, and I don't remember it being anywhere beside here. Hmm, let's see. Maybe it is somewhere here, after all. Is 
Let's see if we can do anything. I don't think these plants make sound for this properly. Should be okay. East of here, the current fades and strange currents rise up from dark of the ocean floor. This large pillar extends day out now into the murk of the deep water below, and improbably straight and tall, a geological and low. This pillar is stuck with a layer of bright and sunlit light. Looking around, each of the pillars here has the same green gold peak. These long, pale green strands of plant matter entwine in flat blades, which trail horizontally between the pillars. These twisted strands are like webs between the pillars. Let's start walking them. Patterns of dance in the sand show the paths of the fairy creatures that pass from pillar to pillar and slow and purposeful roofs. In the sunlight, the, these pale light petals open themselves wide to the welcome and wait for you. A cleverly camouflaged creature, mainly composed of feathery, front like arms, which it waves rhythmically as arms. These funny federal creatures are all around these gardens. Let's start observing their movements. It appears that the number of the creatures' feathery arms are sharp, have sharp edges that it used to the pillar gardens full up. Between the pillars, bright blue webs of twisted tendrils extend, forming thin pathways from garden to garden. The silken strands meet in places and become tangled in one another, forming complex webs that are slow to navigate. These green tendrils that enclose the space seem to calm the winds, creating the pool of still water. These trailing plants can be of great length and appear to overgrow from the sides of the pillars. How did they form? The green tendrils don't seem to reach east beyond this point, but when it's sent to turn back into the protected waters south of here. Out away from the pillars, the ocean grants a sense of vertigo, fading down to a known depths below. This pillar, unlike the others, lack a garden of its own. The plants will clear to a they seem to not reach this far yet. The light of the system's free sounds falls into something amber and huge to the east. It's almost like a pale orange fire. This translucent pentacle doesn't have a fixed shape. Its individual parts instead a cycle through developmental phases as they could hear. These golden yellow streams of life shift around solid objects held suspended in the water. Are these bones, rocks, or something else? This creature is, oh, is, 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 is possibly large. I don't even know how to start working data mode, but I'll try. This hard barrier is wrapped with pulsing nodes. To gain access, we need, we need to slice through it somehow.
This pillar top is thick with waving petals. It will take them tiny particles of golden pollen. That's some wood. Yeah, cool. Ah, power music. These entwined tendrils of flat like blades of kelp can hold themselves out between the pillar tops. What dictates which pillar of tendrils stretch to and from? I'm yet to see a tendril which is only half the form. Observing the underside of these plants, I can see a layer of pores, stomata perhaps, or waste release. The lower parts of this pillar are marked with narrow holes around them, small place of kitten shells in them. I have observed these plants in shades which, which stretch from bright green to ivory white. Is this an indicator of the age or how? This broad floor is full of fluff looking wall holes. Kitten plates clinking here and there suggest there are balls. Let's see. Yeah, we already have it. I've observed these feathered creatures moving between pillars along the web like plants that connect them. These two tendril bridges almost meet before disappearing into holes in the pillar. Are they rooted to the rock inside? I've noticed these strands don't connect directly to the pillar. But disappear into holes in their sides. What are they connected to then? I've named this sea silk. But I'm not sure what kind of plant it is. Check my notes back on the base. Long strands of pale green and white plant matter that twist into broad, flat bridges and webs between the pillars garden. This patch of water is entirely enclosed by rope tendrils and thin strands formed through. The water like lost hair. The gaps between the tenders are webbed with fine strands almost invisible to the naked eye. Gaps between the pillars are paternal. I can't read. One that speaks of a complex geological history. This impossibly thin pillar rises up from the mark like a pencil, its sides marked by a faint strata of geological eons. The feathered creatures that passed along the tendrils seem to be unshakable in the routines, each one carefully doing its rounds. It seems that if they are knocked off a surface, they, these creatures can swim, but very inefficient, inefficiently must be an emergency measure. It's apparent that matter from the blues, such as pollen, collects in these creatures' feathered arms. Is this intentional? These tendrils have grown close enough to each other to form a complex tangle to the strands between the small pillars. Some of these pillar tops are very small, but that doesn't seem to stop the petals colonizing them with the bright shades. Small well, life's form, perhaps they are cause of hard old work which remain from the rest of the away. Mm. 
I'm calling these gardeners, they are so attentive and purposeful, I want to know more about them. A feathery slow moving creature that prunes the plants of the pillar gardens, moving between pillars along their silken bridges. The individual thin and fibrous strands which make up these pillar bridges are so fine they could almost be silk. No, that's it. So wait for It's easy to get confused once you are among these web tendrils, navigating between sunken islands of life. The tendrils seem to be avoiding the spore. In fact, they appear to be avoiding the main shelf of the roof altogether. This tendril has to stretch a long distance to bridge the pillars. How do they grow like this without any support? Too small to enter, this hole in the pillar rates deep into the rock, a, a tailpiece set by the inhabitants. So just inside, we could support. Very cool. Where these tendrils meet, the feathered creatures are able to carefully clamber from one to another, leaving behind feathers as they do. It's the shed feather. The spiller top is a little sparser than some of the others. Perhaps these most hidden pillars have only been recently seeded. Despite sitting all the way out here, the spur is hooked up to the others by a long tendril. When disturbed, this segmented creature shot out of its burrow, ejecting grit and sediment as it swam away. Quite a surprise! This creature was tricky to catch a glimpse of. Let's see if we can scare up a few more. A creature has left behind one of its delicate arms here, perhaps in order to escape from a predator? We take a sample. Okay. This is the one that shoots up. Yeah, it runs, runs away all the time. See. We are getting quiet from all the samples. The arm. Down here, only a single bridge leads from pillar to pillar along which are driving the currents as it crosses. Out away from the other gardens, this white pillar feels like a calming sanctuary, a blob of green and gold in a sea of blue. A tendril loosely dangles from the pillar, its root half pulled out of the rock, this pale blue, pale and bulbous. We could sample it here. So 
One final bridge stretches down to the southernmost below, its trance swaying with the rising crowd. Despite being so faint, this girl is cut through with small holes, and while it stop, a couple of shop plates catch the light. It, this creature scrape away at the pillar surface, carving their barrels into the rock. It is impressive given the density of the pillars. These small young petals are starting to open up to the free sense of Billy's 67 C. This place will be even more beautiful one day. Can we afford cup section? No, we can't afford it. We need to go back. And we will need to get back here afterwards. But that will do next time. Now, well, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!